last night we let the chicken talk. We didn't know exactly what it said, but... I'm your host, Michael Riley. You, with uh, me is Dave you, Porchio. You want, you want to talk about it, Mike? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm dead inside. Was, anyway. Was, um, was Terry Funk strangling chickens? I hope not. Otherwise, he, we need to get some guns because he came back from the dead. Um, let's spin the wheel. We're playing in 64 games. There'll be a few other people along shortly. And okay. <laughs> Why are you saying it like that? Uh, oh man! Because usually when you say it like that, it's not good. Anyway. Oh no! It's Titus. It's a Titus game. Listen, I would rather I would rather this than Hercules. Well, they're very related. <laughs> Pretty sure Xena was a spinoff of Hercules. Yeah, but there was no Kevin Sorbo. Uh, he, I'm pretty sure he made some guest appearances on Xena. Uh. Like, they're literally, the, gay, the the shows are in the same universe. I know the, the Hercules on the wheel is Disney Hercules, so it's, that's different, but... Bless my soul, Hercules on the Despair. Oh, is this, a fight? is this a fighting game? Might be. Bitch, it might be! <laughs> Talisman of Fate. Use right. Xena, colon, warrior princess, colon, Talisman of Fate. How many colons does she have? Too many. <clears throat> okay. Quest, I guess. Alright, so, should I be Xena, or Caesar, or Gabrielle, or Ephany, or Ares, or Velasca, or Callisto? Or Joxer? Or Lyra? Wait Lama. just a second now. What? Joxer? That's just... Uh, that's just Sam Raimi's brother. Uh-huh. Or is it Sam Raimi himself? I don't know. I don't know. Or Autolycus. That's probably locked. Or Random Human. Well, given what I know about history, I'm pretty sure this is not the right answer. You know, ah, oh, what the hell? I've been very, a sucker for a cer cer for a certain thing. If you hit him from the backside, it's not the Ides of March. Really... I think we'll be fine. Ooh, oh, these um, <clears throat> these graphics are uh, pretty. Certainly a thing. Pretty, they're pretty graphics. No, I don't mean they're. Pr I don't mean they're pretty, as in they're good to look at. I mean, very. They're very graphics. Oh. They almost look. Eh. I mean, I get it. N64 wasn't exactly uh, state of the art cut against graphics, but these are just uh, <clears throat> poo poo. Uh, indeed. R's jump. That's weird. Usually up is jump in fighting games. Can't you? Um, you can't switch that in the control scheme. Probably, but I don't. I don't care enough about that to. It's a fighting game. It'll it'll be fine. If it was an adventure game or something like that, then I'd be. Then I'd give a shit. <laughs> hmm. Really, really with the oh. whee, the the fucking cartoon sound effects. Oh, look at this. It's Caesar versus Autoerotic Asphyxiation. Jesus. So I'm fighting David Carradine? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, listen, David Carradine was just hanging around. And um, he wanted to perform in this fighting game for you. 
Whoa. It's appropriate because oh, getting a little fancy there. As I say, it's pretty appropriate to these David Carradine because there's a lot of hurricane and jerking going around. A lot of twerking and hurricane and jerking. Battle too. <laughs> Jesus Caesar. Jesus Jesus. Jesus Honkus. Can we have one of your cell ads? <laughs> you want to toss Caesar salad? Mm-hmm. Oh. Caesar Ares. versus Aret. I believe that's Ares. As uh, in the Roman god. You you don't say. I do say. It's almost, oh, I it's, say. Almost like I'm, it's almost as if I was mispronouncing it incorrectly for the cop. Listen. Don't be pronouncing shit incorrectly while I'm trying to fight as I, Kaiser. I, I put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. Yeah. So if I hold... Whoa. Oh, okay. No, I can just move in 3D and no matter what. That's all right. No. Ares is looking uh, pretty sexy. Yeah, does he look sexy now? No. Who is next? Joxer. Ted Raimi. Woo. Sam Raimi's brother. Sam Raimi's brother. He was Henrietta in uh, Evil Dead 2. This fucking music is just... I don't get it. For his, for Xena, it shouldn't be. Oh, sounds like fucking Xena. I went wasn't to Xena known for her her quimsy? Her quim. Mm -hmm. No, I I thought Xena was more known for their for the possible lesbian relationship between Xena and Gabrielle. That's what I was under the impression that show was. What the fuck? Did you just crawl up the walls, sir? We have to have a talk. Sam Raimi, what are you? Sam Raimi, what are you doing? Well, I think he's directing because this is Chad Raimi. Ted Raimi, yeah, Ted Raimi. <laughs> Ted, Ted Raimi. Well, you know what? Shut up. Oh, what? Sam Raimi's <laughs> directing a movie, I think. <laughs> Ephany. I just had an epiphany. That was, there wasn't even a yeah. As I said, there wasn't even a wall there. Jesus Christ! This is gonna come down to the wire. I'm dead. Uh, Hail Caesar! Sad. Good Lord, man! See, I'm just gonna lay here for a while. Get out of here. Hmm. Kick my fucking ass. Epiphany kick my ass. <laughs> A song by Stain to kick your ass kick your ass? Yes. Fucking Aaron Lewis and his stupid face. You want a bowl of hallelujah? <clears throat> that is not even remotely close to what I said. If that is what it sounded like, though, to me. I said, I want to call the police. Oh. The storm and stain kick my ears. Oh. What, what, that little, what that little jiggly jiggle that uh, Caesar was just doing? I was hitting the Z Ooh. button. Apparently, Z is guard. <laughs> Z more looks like you're going to take a dump. 
Z is shit. <laughs> Caesar's got to shit himself. Listen, plumbing was plumbing wasn't a thing back then, so it was just getting exactly. Plumbing was just getting invented around that time. I don't know if he, I don't think Caesar even had a toilet. He was probably shitting directly onto his servants. He was like the Roman. No, that was that was Caligula. Yeah, that was like a he was like a Roman Vince McMahon. There we go. Finally, worketh worketh thine shit. Come to the orgy. First serve, first come. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Good My Lord. Lord. Wins. Fight. You hit the brick wall. And that brick wall's name is a, 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 a pony. <laughs> It's Epona from from Sludge and Zelda. <laughs> Get back here, horse. <laughs> Come uh -oh. on. Uh -oh. Jesus Christ. Wins. This is on easy. Can you imagine it on hard? Ooh. I probably wouldn't have been able to get past the first person person on hard this is motherfucker oh. sick of your shit god damn it I'm just gonna you know I, I, I might I don't mean to alarm you but <clears throat> Mortal Kombat this is not no it definitely isn't although it's surprisingly decent Of course, the C buttons are what you use to fight, which is standard in any 3D fighting game, but unfortunately for me, my C buttons are mapped to a control stick. So, I'm using a control stick to fight. It's a little awkward for me, but that's not the game's fault. Hmm. I'm sick of your face. I'm sick of everybody's face in this game. Looking all... Like, like a fucking polygon gun. God damn it! This this should not be this hard. I think Epiphany's got your number. I think Epif I think Epiphany needs to fuck off. Epinephrine. I think Famine and Mam Mam and Boo Boo Fa needs to. Lick box. I think honey. I think honey boo boo child needs to fuck off. Also hydrate. Hello, Jason. Hi there. How good of you to join us for Xena the Warrior Princess, the talisman of fate. And we're probably not gonna. I'm probably not gonna. We're probably not gonna be playing this long enough to see either Xena or Gabrielle, because this no. woman is beating the shit out of me. This woman is. Oh, no. This woman is. Beating my ass like I owe her money, <laughs> and given my and given my dating history, <laughs> I probably do. So, <laughs> Finally, sail, heezer. <laughs> sail, heezer. Sail, heezer. Ebenezer, good. <laughs> <laughs> E's are good. E's are good. These Ebony's are good. Jesus, fuck you, goddamn me! Wow. This is uneasy. No, God, fucking damn it! No, no, there's no fucking gods in this. You gotta, they're fighting gods. Yeah. I don't know. Ares <laughs> might have been a fucking god. If you did, you see him. Ares, you know, for somebody who was the god of war, Ares got his ass kicked real easily. It's true. Unlike, um, unlike, uh, um, uh, son of a now. bitch. You know, you might, 
Could you pick another person besides this Jaggle? I'd have to start all over, I think. Start from the beginning. Oh, yeah. Right. Otherwise, wow. otherwise I would. Bruh. What the hell, man? I did bring this on myself by talking about how history, what what happened to the actual seizure. <laughs> so uh, like, what happened like, was the actual seizure. Seizure. <laughs> so uh, now back to seizure battling robots. Seizure inducing robots. <laughs> God damn it. I'm on a mission now. You pissed me off, if 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 any. I'm gonna beat you down and I'm gonna fuck your mother. <laughs> Jesus. This bitch. Jesus. All right. Uh, if you're gonna play that every, if you're gonna play that noise every time I lose, I'm probably gonna shoot someone by the fourth time you play it. <laughs> All right, three consonants and a vowel. Uh, <laughs> F, C, K, and U. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> you got a couple of them. Sound it out. Uh, Ten seconds. Uh, fuck your noise hole. Yeah, you get me. <laughs> uh, what the hell kind of death scream was that? It was death scream of somebody who fucking could fuck off. Ugh. <laughs> uh. My god, she is like the cheapest fucking character. Just spinny stick, spinny stick, spinny stick. For fuck's sake. Is there like a moves list? No, there isn't. Of course not. God damn it! Wins. She is the cheapest character ever because, like, literally, it's the equivalent of the freaking E Honda slap. Or the Chum Lee multi kick of huge discomfort. <laughs> God damn it! We just need the uh, the Philip CDI Zelda. You lose. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that one, unfortunately. And the fucked up thing is, I don't even know who Penny Pseudofedrin is in the show. There you go. Yeah, but yeah, but that's the only win I'll probably get on her. She kicked my fucking ass again. How the hell is her stick blocking a sword? Oh, uh, it's a That'd be well, like it, that'd be like if I big... tried to block a saw blade with my dick. It is a pointed stick. Fuck off! Fuck all the way off! This, I'm done. This game is, this Man, game is okay. Very... Apparently, I'm not done. I hit A by accident. Oops. It'd be hilarious if like you actually beat her on this one. I don't see that yeah, happening, my, Jason. I'll give my review as you're doing this. Yeah, go ahead. Thoughts on Xena Warrior Princess Talisman of Fate? Um, this was. Pretty, pretty stinky. Uh, the controls look. Oh my god, the controls look very janky. Uh, the graphics are very over, overly N64 block. Um, 
it just this is just like I said, Mortal Kombat. This is definitely not. I I didn't like it. Oh and, Jesus, oh, Jason! How do I sum this up in uh, one word? Uh. Is it bad that I instinctively look towards my door to make sure my parents? <laughs> oh my God! I finally beat her. Yeah! This. The, the diary of good luck. The diary I'm... of good luck. So oh. anyway, what was the one word? Diarrhea. Oh. Diarrhea. Well, you never said it. You said you had one word, and then you played a sound effect. That's not a word. Yeah. That's not a sound effect. <laughs> that that the sound effect was the word. Fair enough. It's all right. It's actually not that bad. It's just got hard as balls real quick, and I don't know why. It's on easy. Anyway, uh, it's it's fine. It's it's rental hard. Yeah, it's it's no, it's definitely no virtual fighter. That's for damn sure. Scores out of ten. Dane, three. Jason, two. I'm gonna give it a one. Hey, let's jam. <laughs> Contact. Blah blah blah. All right. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da. Ba -dun -da -dun -da -dun -da -da -da. Reason for everything that happens, contact. Let's make contact. God, I, I remember that show so vividly. Oh my fucking god! All right. <laughs> what happened now? This bullshit. <laughs> you know, <laughs> listen. The other we played the other Elmo game and that was extremely inoffensive and it was cute. Let's let's just let's just relax and let Elmo take us on a number journey. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, Elmo just murdered that too. Look at this. <laughs> beep beep. I knew beep. Elmo was a. Sick, disgusting bastard. Wow. Hold on. Elmo is... All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Please don't ever say, hey, it's the couch. See you? You picked the perfect day to visit. Let's go look for some numbers. You picked a great day for this. It's 100 fucking degrees. Hi, Jack. What are you counting? That's one. One fantastic parade of numbers. Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. So, Big Bird and Grover were in the other game with Ernie. I wonder who the... Yeah, I'm sorry, I have to just mention this. Elmo is at, like, crotch level to the count. That's that's a little more sound. Suck my dick. Ah, ah, ah. That's one, one blow ah, ah, ah. Can find all of the number eights or find eight bats. Oh my god, <laughs> Elmo's the cracked freaking... out. <laughs> the wobbly ass animation. Eight. This is, well, this is what me, Mike, and Billy uh, saw. No, that fucking number sound effect sounded like a fucking sound effect from Nick Arcade. It was. It was that stock sound effect. <laughs> da -da -da. Bow, 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 bow. Now Wait, no, hold on. Hold on. It's dun, 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 Oh, yeah. It is the sound effect. It's time for a pop quiz. <laughs> what, was the, uh, what was the name of the bully that would uh game over? Beat you up? Oh, yeah, I've been I've been watching arcade. It's on Nick Arcade is on Paramount Plus. So every episode, by the way, one one of the few things worth watching on there. Yeah, I'm surprised they have every episode, considering some of them have uh, licensed footage in them. Music, no, uh, music let's, video footage. Um, let's not forget, gentlemen, that normally we don't see Elmo's feet, so. 
This is true, I'm yeah. Will I'm willing to give it a pass that he's walking like a dungle. I mean, most Muppets do tend to walk kind of, you know, all wibbly wobbly because, you know, <laughs> they have somebody underneath them. Yeah. Well, I, as I like to call it, the Muppet Stride, which is yeah. just basically them bopping up and down. Yep. Can I touch that balloon? Touch. You don't touch. <laughs> touch. Do I have to follow you everywhere? Mm. Eight. Oh, okay, that was eight. Yeah, eight was of the, whatever. Eight of whatever the fuck that was. Eight bats, yep. Ah, ah, ah. Eight. Oh, okay, part two of this stage. If you want to keep playing... Welcome to my castle. Uh, 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 well, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh. I will have I say ah, ah, ah after every ah, ah, ah. Ah, 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 ah. By that logic, I should be saying ah, ah, ah forever. You don't understand. Every time I'm doing that, I'm actually jerking off. Ah, 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 ah. Ah. Ah, 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 staying alive, staying alive. Staying alive. <laughs> fucking, I knew it. <laughs> I fucking knew it. Excuse me. I also just noticed that, like, Elmo's head is, like, not entirely connected to the rest of his body. If you look close enough you'll notice from behind like there's a very thin like line where it kind of like Eight. is disconnected right. so elmo's canadian i would thank you not to point it out it's a defect on my body <laughs> elmo thinks you're a horse's ass <laughs> Uh, yeah. Fuck you, Elmo. Ah, ah. Oh, that door counted? That sucks. Eight. Well, it was technically one door. I figured I could open it and go in it. Okay, now I right. think now is the uh, put the letter. Oh, no, it's... it's not yeah, what am I thinking? This it's is numbers. numbers. Seven... Um, if you want to take back a ball, honk the horse. Seven. Plus six. Elmo needs how many balls? What do we, uh, what do we do? You need to... One. Oh, my lord. This is, oh, my God. Is it going to be this fucking slow and tedious? Oh, my God. This is so bad. Swish! No! Goal? No! That's that's how he got fired from the job. That's fair. Get on your knees, bitch! <laughs> Elmo needs to, a hammer. And to think, he was almost the voice of the boss in Dinosaurs. Mm. My groin is dinosaur. <laughs> I know what he said, but it sounded like, let's go back to Suckamy Street. <laughs> how to get to, to, get to Suckamy Street. Uh, you take a left turn down Shaft Road. Go down BJ Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hang a left. Until you get to the cul-de-sac. I, I thought that that said Hoover's hey, store. Hey, there's Cookie Monster. Those smell like the best cookies ever. Those aren't They're all mine. <laughs> Fuck you. That's not a cookie jar. That's my mom's ashes. No, but, but, but we can go to Cookie World. Why are you eating whoa, my mom's whoa, whoa. ashes? <laughs> what the we hell is wrong with you? We have a problem. Go to Cookie World with me. Press one of these buttons. Wow. At least Cookie Monster is properly animated to be old. What? <laughs> we think you're a river of poop. This is supposed to be chocolate, but it looks like poo poo. <laughs> poo poo is a sometimes treat. <laughs> oh. Also, I want to point out, Elmo's driving against the current of the river. So he's essentially driving up upstream. Whoa! That is a little strange. I noticed that too. Six! 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 Cookie Six. Monster! Cookie Monster is subscribed to the devil! Cookie Monster loves death metal! Me, Cookie Monster, me like to pack punch. Cookie Monster really enjoy readings of Salmon Rusty. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but don't worry, Cookie Monster also hate Heimrad. <laughs> Want to keep playing? Cookie Monster think I'm Red Libertarian. I really like Richard Dawkins. Six, four, five, oh, now, now, now you're skiing down a sugar mountain. <coughs> Elmo knows better than that. This is cocaine. <laughs> Cookie Monster think God is dead. I can't wait to take all of this booger sugar. Yeah, that's that's you what know, killed Mr. Hooper. <laughs> And, and, and to Ashley's visit Mr. missing Hooper. out on these coke jokes. Ah! Mm. Coke jokes! You're a poet, but you probably knew it. And you didn't know it. Nah, you knew it. If Ashley, if Ashley were here, she'd be like, Mike, I'm proud of you. You're beating Elmo's number bark journey. <laughs> I mean, the game isn't targeted towards anybody that's almost 40, but... <laughs> Congratulations, Mike. You know how to count. <laughs> I mean, I look, I know this game is for little poopy diaper babies. Come on. Come on. There you I'm going to wriggle my butt around. <laughs> Commence the jiggling. <laughs> Commence the jiggling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know how to do this, Kevin Clash. You don't need. <laughs> you want to take back a ball? I'm a child. Why? Why? Boo boo ba ba. A real kid would not want to wait for these instructions. Any child that this game is targeted towards would have cried before the end of the instructions because it wasn't letting would me play. Would have freaking been bashing the freaking controller. It's not letting me play. This game ain't fair. <laughs> Fuck you, Grandma, for buying me this game. Elmo's a clitoris. <laughs> this, this is the kind of shit that they freaking put in the kiosks at McDonald's. Elmo's the devil. <laughs> Me so proud of you, Miss so Horny. Does Elmo want to see what my mouth do besides eat cookies? <laughs> oh no no no! I'll eat your cookie. <laughs> 
Congratulations, you're two thirds of the way through the game. It's true. Yeah. It's like the last one. Save Ernie for last. Have you been to the Carnival of Numbers? Oh, the Carnival of Numbers? <laughs> no, I haven't, Ernie. Uh, uh, Off-brand Ernie. If you'd like to go to the Carnival in the park with me, press one of the action buttons. If you'd like There's to stay home and now. smoke a doobie instead, press start. <laughs> Take a chance. Pick a number, but not just any number. Find the number one. Or find one ball. Um, excuse me? <laughs> what? Are you fucking kidding me? The game froze? What? <laughs> no. <laughs> er oh my god. Ernie asked Listen. me to find one his one ball, and then the game froze. Listen, the, the sheer amount of awesomeness of the fucking number carnival couldn't be handled. Yeah. Yeah, this sure looks like the number carnival. Thoughts on Elmo's number adventure, Dane? I mean, we said it. You said it yourself. This is a game for babies, it so is. we have to we have to realize that it's um, an offensive kids game. An offensive kids game. Are you? I don't know I about that. Did you see how many times I had to collect six six six? Yeah. <laughs> this game. This game was obviously Anton Lavey's. That's right. Listen, as I said, I love Sesame Street. Grew up watching it. It was an institution in my house. I love the characters. So this this game is corny, yes, but it's it's not terrible. It it does its job. It's teaching kids how to count. So you know that that's all you got. That's all you really got. You cut it a little bit of a break. Yeah. Uh, Jason. Yeah, you know, I mean. Teaches kids how to count. It's inoffensive, you know. Leave it at that. Yeah, I guess for what it is, it's fine. If it teaches you how to count and it's inoffensive, I'll just say everything everybody else said, only worse. Um, scores out of 10, Dane. Five. Jason? Yeah, four. Five. Uh, hi, Arnie. Hope you find your one ball. I left it in Bert. Oh, nice. Thanks. <laughs> fucking N64 game crashed. Ernie, why is your ball in me, Ernie? <laughs> That's where you left it last night, Bert. <laughs> fucking. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Bert. You I... really think we? You, you really think we're roommates for fifty years and we're not fucking Bert? Also, we don't go to pay the rent. I can sell my. I sell pigeon porn picks. I don't. Pigeon porn picks? Uh, yeah. If you say so. Oh, goody gumdrops. It's one of these games. Yeah. Pardon me, one, but I have to bring a plane. All right. The Hutus and Tootsies. So uh, this this was back when they were actually basing things off of his books. Promotion? What for? Oh, 
Okay, I don't... What the heck's going on around here? This is a weird kind of like tactical, like, shooter, if memory Ooh. serves correctly. I don't think it would be worse if this was a real-time strategy. Like you can switch between the different people in the group. <laughs> oh, I see. Hmm. Yeah, this this was back when they still had Tom Clancy material to work with. Remember, folks, Tom Clancy was a huge scumbag right winger. Remember, folks, Tom Clancy's been dead for years, and they have been milking his name. Exactly. Remember, folks, Tom Clancy's novels were really just people jerking off guns. So, literally, he's been dead for over ten years now. No, I know. People have been ghostwriting under his nom de plume. I say it's not very tactical at the moment. This is yeah. uh, Bo Boobysoft owns his name indefinitely for the games. This is scintillating stuff. Mm, yes, but. You know things are bad when it's really looking like the Sesame Street game is going to be the best game of the episode. <laughs> yep, he's nearly a third of the way there. Mm-hmm. Keeping that, my so eye out for Emony's. So, Jay's heard any good jokes lately? Uh, I I don't know. Uh, I actually I got a chance to finally check out. Um, I I know it's been on TV for a while, but the Game Show Network reboot of Split Second, the the old game huh. show, hosted by Monty Hall back in the day. Oh wow! Yeah. Tom, uh, Tom Kennedy before that, but Monty Hall in the in the eighties. Um, it's like probably their best game show so far. Game Show Network did an amazing job with it. It's they they're incredibly faithful to the game. The front game is essentially the same, which is awesome. Don't if it, if the formula works, you don't fuck with it. Didn't uh, ABC recently bring back uh, Lingo? Yeah. I don't care as much for that. <coughs> They're bringing back Tic Tac Doe on GSN huh. as well. Apparently, from what I've understood. How do I open Isn't, this? Uh, I feel like Shaquille O'Neal is hosting a game show right now. Whoops. That wasn't very stealthy. How do I open the door? I don't bloody know. Oh, if I know. <laughs> I got a joke for you, Jace. You want to hear it? <laughs> sure. A guy goes into a psychiatrist's office and says, Doc, I can't seem to make any friends. Can you help me, you fat slob? <laughs> uh... Uh, see, 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 Lois, the joke is he, he's insulting the guy. That's why he can't make friends. The control pad? That's weird. Okay. Can you, like, boot the door? Well, opening door. Would have never thought the control pad. Progress? Opposite of Congress. It's true. There's an enemy in this room. Yeah. 
<sighs> My strategy is working. Take seven bullets to the head and then shoot the guy. Okay. Perfect stealth. <laughs> that is the perfect strategy. It is. The best the best strategy. Seven bullets to the head and shoot. Works every time. I guess blue means they're on the floor below. And red means they're on your floor. Yeah, fuck if I know, man. And the little... Nice. That was a good shot. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so like there's there's like a little line showing the direction that they're facing. Yeah, it's actually, I believe it's an arrow. Okay. No, no, no. Nothing in there. All right. Oh, there's an enemy in this room up here. Any of you, any of you fine gentlemen, gonna be seeing the apple juice? Oh, I'm looking forward to it. What is it? Little juice. Beetle juice. Beetle juice. There's actually a there's a documentary that's coming out right now. So Blue is a hostage. Oh, okay. There's a documentary coming out that I'm very intrigued by. It's called Seeking Mavis Beacon. Huh. Basically two um, women looking for the actress or the model who played Mavis Beacon because for those of you who are not aware, Mavis Beacon was not actually a real person. It was just a name they used to sell typing software. God, I've seen funeral processions that go faster than this. It's, yeah, it's, know, a, right? it's a stealth game. What do you want? Well, I mean, I, I'm not very good at stealth games for the most part. This is okay. I mean, I, obviously, well, I like first-person shooters, but... Do you want to know what I want? I feel like it's... I feel like I maybe should have put everybody on the same team so I could have had all the team come with me to do some rescuing. But maybe if I yeah. kill all the enemies, then maybe it won't be so so bad. i got to find my way around. There's going to be an enemy right behind this door. I know it. There we go. Got him. And then there's an enemy right over here. Hmm. I just randomly hear a monkey. Probably. We're, with, we're dealing with Hutus and Tutsis. Come on. What? Uh, uh, yeah, you're like in Africa. Yeah, so of course apparently. you're gonna hear monkeys. Mon oh my! Monkeys are everywhere. I don't know what to say. The monkeys won't. Don't know what to say. The monkeys won't do. Now I'm in this too. Oh, cool. Don't know what hey. to say. The monkeys won't oh, do. Oh well, you're dead. Well, one one person's dead. Guess it's a good thing everybody didn't go all at once. Well, the upside is I can go right in through the front door because I've killed the two guards guarding that, so. Yeah. I love the dramatic, like, cutscene as somebody drops dead, complete with music. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Don't know what to say, the monkey won't do. For, For a, nickel, a nickel, nickel, I'll give you a clue. Oh, I guess we had the same we had the same thought. I didn't know your eyes were blue. <laughs> Don't know what to say, some monkeys want to. 
Oh, I guess I could have just came in through here. Okay, everybody dead. Sweet, dude. Hurrah! P Bogart gets the uh, the win, but Arnaviska did all the work. Uh, isn't that like Humphrey Bogart to take all the credit? Rescue all <laughs> hostages. Got it. All right. I um, recently, and by recently I mean yesterday, on my lunch break went to, there's a kind of a toy slash figure slash nerd shop at the mall that's right down the street from my workplace. And I took a little video of the anime figures and sent it to Jace, and he was quite impressed. Yeah, it's, uh, some cool, uh, some cool figures. Free Europe! I'll take it. <laughs> hello, hello, Western Hemisphere. I have something you may want. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Russia. I have something that uh, you might want. Am I? I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume that this is some kind of like white nationalist kind of thing going on. I'm gonna go out on a limb. Help! I'm a limb, or on a limb. Oh well. Well, that person's dead. I think they were a uh, hostile. Because I saw a red <laughs> indicator. Oh, I do have a team member with me this time, at least. Yeah. So I'm well, taking. Good. All right. Open the door. <laughs> Open the freaking door. Okay. Give me the one with the silencer on it. Yeah. Probably for the best. Alright, into the green room we go. Nope, there's nothing in here. Go back. Anyone in here? Are these the restrooms? Is there any hostiles peeing in here? I can't open those, so probably not. Perfect opportunity to go, what you doing? Poop -poop. Pooping. Going to the women's room. Hope there's nobody in here naked. Nope. All right, let's proceed. Mm -hmm. Looks like we're heading upstairs, alone and in pairs. And running over your neighbor's dog. There's three hostages and one hostel. Yeah, in that room. Uh... Might be two hostels. Mm, divided by a wall, apparently. Or stairs. Ooh. That could be stairs. Or stairs, yeah. It's a possibility. It's a possibility. Can I do anything on these computers? Nope. All right, cool. Go in this door. Ooh, and how about this one? Ooh, do 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 do. Yeah. Hi, boo boo. 
There's nothing in the restroom. You, uh, you okay, Yogi? Boo! Uh, doesn't really help me, Yogi, once you kind of use your words. Anyway. He did. And then there's that guy. He did. Oh, shit. Jeebus. Who's, who's doing that? That guy. You? Okay. Changing magazine from life to time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank again, come you. They're printing money up in this bitch. You can be... You can be famous. Okay, that is a wall. Good to know. Rescue squad here. Oh, thank God. I was hoping to kill him before he killed the hostages. <coughs> right. Okay, you're you guys are good. I gotta go look for more. Hmm. Where could they be? Believe it or not, it's just P. Yes. <coughs> I can poo anything. Take a book. It's in a look. Raining reed bow. Raining reed bow. <laughs> Drink. Drink. <laughs> Smoke. You smoking yet? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we've played enough of this. Yeah. Thoughts on Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six? A Dane. Um, you know, I understand that this is a stealth game. And much like with Sesame Street, this is geared towards a very specific audience. And uh, this just ain't it for me. I thought it was very slow and boring. And uh, yeah, just I wasn't really enjoying it. And Tom Clancy sucks as well. Uh, Jason. Yeah, no, this this is for a very specific audience, and it certainly wasn't me. Uh, yeah, it's it's fine when there's you know actual shit to do. Uh, most of the time you're just looking around, look, walking around looking for hostiles to take out. Yeah, people who, I mean, if you enjoy strategy games that are stealth games like this, I mean, you'll probably <coughs> f like it, but eh, I can think of about five other first-person shooter games I'd rather play, I'll be honest. Scores out of ten, Dane. Three. Jason. Four. Uh... On today's show, we so like we played Xena Warrior Princess Talisman of Fate, Elmo's Number Journey, and Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six. Best game of the episode, Dane. Like I said, best game by default was Elmo's Number Journey. Uh, Jason. Woof. Uh, I'm I'm gonna go with Xena just because Lucy Lawless owns friggin' Kevin Sorbo constantly on social media. That's true. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with Elmo Number Adventure, whatever it was called. Thanks for joining us for this edition of Retro Roulette. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe. Be sure to develop and be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Ford, Jonah, Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time. Good night, everybody.